Hello again. Now I'm going to tell you about these, which are some guitar picks that I make out of local seashells. Um, I'm not really sure what species of mollusk or clam or whatever. Hello, kitty cat. I'm not sure what species of. I'm going to let here say hi, my kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty cat. My kitty. Her name is Limonara. Then we got another one. You don't want to say hi right now. But anyway. Uh, yeah. I make these out of uh, seashells. Pretty big sons of bitches. Uh, let me see that in a minute. Yeah. This is one of them. Uh, it's not one of the darker color like the one, the pick that I have in my hand. Those are a little harder to find, but it's the same thing. Um, just wondering what y'all think of these handmade guitar picks. Um, I might make a video of how well they play here in a little bit, but uh, you can get these online. I'm selling them now. I'm setting up an Etsy shop soon uh, so that I can send them to people. But uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think. I think this is something cool if y'all would use something like this. Um, I'm pretty new. I had a YouTube channel a long time ago for one of my old bands. But uh, as far as my solo review stuff, i uh, never really done anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty new to the whole doing reviews online thing. Uh, post a video, I guess, of how well these things work. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's like as thick as a stubby. I don't know if you can hear. It's pretty, pretty fucking thick. Um, but yeah, man, thick ass guitar pick. It has like no give. So when you're sitting there picking, you kind of have to, it's it's majority in your fingers. It's not really like using a plectrum or a, a, a Tortex pick or something like that. Um, or a tortoise shell or whatever. Um, like a Fender style guitar pick. Uh, it's really like using a coin almost, but not as bright or chunky, metallic sounding. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in using something like that. Um, regardless of whether you are or not, I'm going to be plastering my Etsy shop all over the internet. So, yeah. Basically, what I do make weird things for guitar players. I've had a couple of people that I've given them to that have given me some cool feedback on them, tell me how well they play. Uh, I made a few that were a little too thin and ended up breaking, but uh, as long as I think as long as I find like good quality thick shells. They, they should be fine. This one, I've had this one for a while now, a couple of months I've been using it, and it hasn't seemed to break. I just pluck away on it. I play like heavy metal and doom, sludge rock kind of stuff, so it's pretty heavy picking. But uh, yeah, it's about the size, like the diameter of it is like the size of one of those big tri like Dunlop triangle picks. Um, but yeah. Let me know if that'd be something y'all be interested in. YouTube. Because uh, I'll keep making them. I don't care if they sell or not. I just like them. I think they're cool. Maybe other people would think they're cool too. Yeah. This one, I think this one's Abalone. But I'm not sure. It's, it's pretty... They're... The, the purple shells are kind of hard to find. 
but the regular like perloid kind of colored ones are a dime a dozen, but you know. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe. More videos to come.